return to the adventures of Little Flex, the Bulwark. The Bulwark, really? Of the Grimer Empire? She hasn't really done a huge amount of defending, offending, anything that I think would make her considered a Bulwark. Anyway, um, obviously yesterday we spent a hell of a long time trying to be able to claim the Ogma Infinium only to find out that it's being hoarded by a friggin' zombie up in the Arctic. So, one thing I've tweaked between episodes here is I've actually given the AI a bit more freedom over whether or not they want to use the Ogma Infinium. I figured it was probably better to do that rather than just kill him, assassinate him, steal the artifact, whatever else. Instead, we'll hopefully see this guy use it during the course of, uh, hopefully during the course of the day, hopefully pretty fucking soon, so that we can take it for ourselves. That way, he's still getting all the benefits from it, right? I figured that was a, the, the fairest solution, but I still think it's super on brand for little Flex, who murdered her own infant brother to take control of the Empire, went mad. And now has devoted herself to a completely different danger, just all in the pursuit of power. I think it's I think it's on brand for her, which is why I didn't want to just kind of give up on the Ogma so quickly. And of course, the other thing we've got to do is win Boethia or become the Herald again. It's a little bit of a backward system. We kind of have to become the Herald after we've already got the towers, rather than using the towers, uh, or rather, rather than using the forces given to us as Herald to take the towers. Otherwise, as we've seen, we'll just get horribly murdered by constant waves of dragonborn so i think today we'll take the imperial isle minimum um and we'll start fabricating claims on the rest of the tower so i believe to own rothgar we need uh Iverstead. and then of course we've got adamantia so we could actually turn i wonder if we could actually turn that one over um this way tower one of these must be true yeah so we do have something um one of these must be true. We, we either have to be the owner of Adamantine or any realm character is the owner of Adamantine. Well, that is true. Fantastic. Okay. So we've, we've already got that one ticked off. And then we'll um, we'll obviously continue on. We'll, we'll take Iverstead at some point as well. We'll try and fabricate claims on that. Maybe we could take Iverstead and also take, uh, take the Imperial City at the same time. Now, was this yesterday when I tried, tried to deal with the Magister thing? I honestly don't remember because I'm recording this a lot later than I normally would be. Um, but I have fixed the Magister tile, so we can assign a Magister now. Uh, so we've got to go with 27 on it. Let's just go ahead and send him out to proselytize. That could have been from a multiple different things. I changed the code so it was a lot more free. I also updated the SVN and I also removed some Rise to Power stuff. So any of those things might have fixed it. Point is, it's kind of working now, which is quite nice. We can send him out proselytizing again. Um... Let's try, let's try and take apart some of the Arm Civvy. I think that's really our first goal, is to deal with the Arm Civvy on Bardenfell, and then we'll head out into mainland Morrowind. I don't really care about the other faiths too much, but getting rid of Arm Civvy early on would be would be pretty ideal, I think. Also going to set artifacts removed up as a priority one message, so that when that guy uses the Ogma Infinium, we'll be notified about it. Of course, the game will be notified about it, so that we can go and claim it ourselves from... Hameas Mora, and hopefully, again, he'll do that sooner rather than later. I'm hoping we can also get some more ranks through the Mages Guild. I was thinking we could try and assassinate our way back to the top, try and kill off a few of these guys. I was looking through here, and we've got, like, 918 Thermatological Renown there. Um, how are we doing? Are we at the, always at the top of the list? I honestly don't know. Where are we? Uh, I'm looking for our points, so I can kind of work out where we are compared to... God, there are so many people in the Mages Guild. Wow. Um, there we are. So we've got three... 99.5. It's going to take us a little while to catch up here, but the, the, the guy who's second in line there is 605, and then it drops off quite steeply. So it's not going to take us long to potentially get in the position whereby we can assassinate our way up to the top. We kill that guy. If that's bringing it down by 200 points. Then we kill that guy if it brings it down by another 40 points. So we'll see We'll see if we can kind of wiggle our way back to the, 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 the title of Archmage, and then we can legalize necromancy again. And then the only other thing we're waiting on here is like another 1,000 troops, 2,000 troops to reinforce in the army of Duke and Ninny Milk. And then after we've got that, we are just going to dive on Skyrim. What would make more sense is rather than having... Rather than having troops both around the Imperial City, bearing in mind that the war goal is the Imperial City and the Imperial Isle is a duchy with just a single county, taking that's not going to be too difficult. What we should really do then is move these troops up to as close as we can get to uh, Skyrim's capital, which is currently in Winterhold for reasons unbeknownst to me. Let's get a load of ships in. Let's get a load of ships. Let's send half the ships up to here. We'll drop our troops off right by the capital, right by Winterhold. And then... That is their capital, right? They are still a kingdom. I just wanted to make sure they hadn't formed this to an empire or something. And then the other troops we could put on the uh, Lake Rumer and then move them over into the Imperial City at the second we declare war. That way we've basically got the drop on them, right? It's going to be very, very hard, especially from... Especially if we keep our troops on the Imperial Isle. There's no way in hell they're going to be able to take that back. Because they'll have to boat bomb into us or take a straight crossing. Oh. Piss. He used it, but we weren't notified? Uh. Artifact removed. Oh, shit. I was supposed to set that as characters of special interest rather than just us. Ah, oh, bollocks. 
Okay, my bad. Well, hopefully we can reclaim it. Hopefully someone else hasn't grabbed it. Claim the Ogma Infinium. Uh, one of these must be true. Okay, so he's got the Ogma Infinium by the looks of it. So that what we've got to do then is very quickly revoke Boethia. Uh, sorry, renounce Boethia. Take the Ogma Infinium, use the Ogma Infinium, and then go back to Boethia. And we've kind of just used Tomeus Mora for his power, which I think is on brand. Bear in mind, uh, Boethia is all about deceit and whatnot. I think that is uh, ab absolutely on brand with Boethia. I'm sure she'd approve of that. Ogma. Uh, Ogma. Og. Ma. How the fuck do you spell Ogma Infinium? Ogma. Oh, I guess no one's probably got it. Maybe I am spelling it right in hindsight. Okay. Um, so we got to personally adopt Faith. We become Cult of Tomeus Mora. Then we go to you. And we... There it is. Claim the Ogma Infinium. I was spelling it right. I was just losing my mind. And then we want to manipulate that as soon as possible. We've got to equip it first, yeah? There we are. Um, and then manipulate the Ogma Infinium. Boom. I unlock all of its secrets to become a god in my own right. I must restrain myself. The Ogma Infinium is too precious to be lost. Oh, is it like a black book? Interesting. So it used to be the case that, obviously, the Ogma Infinium, you'd open it and you'd just pick what you wanted. But the black books make you go on an adventure, which are quite deadly. Fine. Uh, we've had it removed. Oh, maybe it is the same thing. Okay, that's fine then. Um, Guile. We gained Journeyman Diplomat. Oh, they've nerfed it quite heavily. Oh, wow. So it just... So clear, and we become Journeyman Diplomat. Oh, that's so different. Shit, they've really heavily nerfed it then. Fair enough. I mean, we can use it to just upgrade our magic education. 8,000 honor to upgrade our magic education is obviously quite heavy. I wonder if we can claim it again, though. I don't see why not. Another 8,000 Ardor. Um, I was thinking claim it and become a legendary mage, but to be honest, we I don't know if whether or not that resets our progress to upgrading our education trait naturally. If it doesn't, then we're probably quite close to just getting legendary mage from all of the, the, the points we've accrued over our life anyway. Anyway, let's go back to Boethia uh, before I forget. Can we go ahead and secretly convert to the cult Boethia and then uh, personally adopt faith. There we are. All that in a single game tick. You'd never know that we'd ever converted away. Did the zombie use it on then? Because I didn't notice anything significant. I think he genuinely just became a journeyman warrior and lost and, and game three marshal. Fair enough. Uh, th that's so different to the way it used to be. Obviously, the first time we used the Ogma Infinium, it gave you all five of like the highest tier of the education traits and immortal and some stats as well. Like it was so so overpowered. It feels it feels a lot more in, in the right place. It feels a lot more where it should be at this point. But he claimed it back again. <laughs> Oh my god, he actually got it back immediately. What a guy. He must have so much ardor with Hermaeus Mora. That's insane. I mean, he is also 547, so he's been going almost certainly since the game started. Yeah, he's been there since the game started, so it's not much of a surprise that he would have attained so much ardor in that time. I can't believe that. That's, that's mad. He immediately grabbed it back again. Now he became a master mage. He flipped back over. Sorry, journeyman mage. You flipped back over there. Weird. Okay, I'm going to unmark you with special interest. It's good that the AI can actually use the Ogma Infinium now. I don't think we've got enough ships for both of these armies. Uh, how many other ships have we got coming down? 56 plus another 23. We haven't got enough, so we might as well disband those and just move the troops into the Imperial Isle manually. As long as we can land on their capital. That's the key thing. Capital more than war gold. Bear in mind, there's going to be a lot more resistance in their capital than it is between Virtue Way and Imperial Isle. Hang on, we have holdings in the Imperial Isle. We can just move our troops there and declare war on it straight away. Because we own the Waterfront District and we have... The Arcane University. And we have them in Virtual Way as well. And Hano, I'd like to point out. So all of this is basically on our side anyway. Um, ah, my Chancellor, Duke Arslick, kindly suggested it would be a benefit to the realm. Interesting. Uh, thank you, Duke Brandon. That's very cool. So we're going to get plus one learning from that. And we might also get Diligent. Well, I think we've already got Diligent, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, fair enough. It still gives us what? Like plus one learning, plus one diplomacy by the time we finished. So now we can still declare war on Skyrim. Brilliant. That's so powerful. So let's start moving these troops over to Winterhold. And then the second they're about to land, so let's make sure we got good commanders on this as well. So I have Ninny Milk, uh, Konun, and Odasa. And then on this one, just Siege Leaders, I think are probably the safest bet. Siege Leaders, we've got you, we've got a Dramora there as well, one of those sexy looking Dramoras. Get you on the center, and then, oh god, 13 Marshall in hindsight, probably a bad play. Let's go kinda, let's pull a little flex. Little flex leading the... Leading the troops. I like that. And then let's get these auto balance too. Bear in mind, this one is 1,680... Sorry, 16,800 light infantry. That's going to get collapsed a lot sooner. But it's good for sieging, obviously. And then we want to Inquisition against the Imperial Isle. They might call in High Rock. Bear in mind, High Rock is also going to be eight divines, I would assume. 
Uh, yes, it is. So they might call in High Rock, but what difference does that make to us, really? It's just going to be us versus Skyrim and, and a few extra troops coming from those guys. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. We're in Winterhold. The capital's immediately gone. I love that. That's that's fantastic. Wait, what the hell did we see? Oh, was that a fort? I had a fort in their own capital. Okay, that's a bit strange. How are we doing the Imperial Isle? So usually the fort the Imperial Isle is gone already. And now it begins. I'm actually going to be paying just attention to the outliner for this one. Um, mainly because, again, it's like the two biggest realms in Tamriel with a massive fuck-off border. It's going to be so difficult to keep up with our individual troops. So we'll just kind of watch this and then if the sieges start getting out of hand we can raise our vassal troops and obviously our own personal levies from mournhold and oh we don't even have mournhold anymore from uh from the Escadian isles but we can't really salt this down we definitely can't siege down the white gold tower they got way too many defenders winterhold are actually dying to attrition maybe it would be worth just assaulting this one down can i hit it with a spell um open spell book maybe deplete garrison nothing unfortunately okay cool then bit risky but i'm gonna do it just so we're not otherwise we're just gonna sit there and die of Die of attrition, which I'd rather not. Let's get this sorted down as soon as possible. Then we can just start moving into areas. Maybe to take out some of their troops instead. 20% already. And this isn't even the war goal. It's quite nice. Oh, yeah. 26. Right. Should we just start heading out from there? Seeing what damage we can do along the way. And how we're looking in the Imperial Isle. Pretty good. Obviously, I'm not going to touch this one. We could open Spellbook on this one, right? Still nothing. Weird. I was expecting more than that. Especially as... I, I assume that the only reason we couldn't hit the other one was Diplo range. But I mean, you can't cast spells on provinces you're at war with. We always had... Oh, we've got Regenerate Body because we're a Master Mage now. Oh, fantastic. Well, let's go Cure Disease on our husband. Can't. Why? Are we out of Magicka? Oh, 20 out of 56. That probably also explains why we can't hit these holdings with anything in particular. All right. Well, let's give it a while. Let's try and get him cured. And then we've really got to focus rather than pissing around with Daedra and rather than taking the towers, which I will admit is still fairly important. We want to probably focus on increasing our dynasty a little bit. Bearing in mind, it's like kind of dwindling out here. Five living members. Oh, but now we can also summon Dramora. Oh, very nice. Currently not in control of any bound summons. Okay, fair enough. The Dramora armies tend to be much more... Much more powerful than the skeletons, but obviously not quite as numerous, I think, is the case. So, but they might have changed that. Again, it's been absolutely decades since we last done that. They are trying to stop us, just as we're about to knock down the white gold tower. Okay. Um, we want to move some of these guys over. Yeah, let's bring you two down. 36, 29, 25. And they are taking a straight crossing. Uh, let's go for a temple vassal. Are they going to get there before we're able to knock this down? 14th. Oh, it's going to be fucking close. Yeah, no, they are going to get here in time. That's a shame. We should be able to wipe them out, no problem. Ooh, man, they're doing a lot of damage, to be fair. Left flank fell in no time. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. What the fuck was that about? They genuinely almost wiped us out there. Wow. Uh, I mean, luckily, we're going to be able to take white gold. There we are. 53%. That's mad. <laughs> <laughs> they put up a hell of a fucking fight. Who have they got on their center? Have they got like a dragonborn or something? We've got his wife prison by the looks of it. He's in hiding too. Okay. W luckily, we're going to win. But my god, that was close. That was an insane battle. They really pulled out all the tasks, didn't they? For Pulled out all the stops for the Imperial Isle there. Fucking hell. I think it wouldn't be unreasonable to summon some Dramora. Uh, custom moderate version. Where do they summon? Uh, Army of Manat over in... Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, all the way over there. Why don't we... Would it be actually quicker to sail around? I think it'd be quicker to walk, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's walk. Sod that. We'll, we'll drop them over here and then we'll bring them down. I hate Divine's Revolt's coming in there. Right, just keep knocking down whatever we can as fast as we can. We're also going to hire some troops. We could bring in the Holy Order. There we are. Uh, and let's bring in... Argonian Fighters Killed, the Kaftil... Kaf... 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 Kaftil Tong? I don't fucking know. And the Hounds of Harlan. Right, get him down here. This could be an issue. Uh, okay, definitely put you on the center. Let's get you on. Um, I mean, our character did pretty goddamn well. She was the only one that held out. So we'll do that. I think we're probably going to lose this one. So for a major river, river crossing penalty. But even then, it's 8,000 versus essentially 12,000 there. Oh my god, they're bringing in so many more. Um, is there anything we can do at all? Because we're going to lose a lot of war score here when that army gets smashed. Even if we've got their capital, unfortunately, there's not much we can... Unless we bring these troops down to reinforce slowly. And have them meet our hired units as they come down. Hmm. What is, what's our options here? Well, let's close the spell, but then... It managed to actually take the Western District. Well, let's see how it goes. We can't, we can't get off the Imperial Isle at all. Oh, God, yeah. They are reinforcing with a lot of troops. Fucking hell. Um... 
I think all of it's going to go down around the Imperial Isle, isn't it? So let's bring all of our troops down. I might have made a mistake there trying to send them up to Skyrim. Are we going to win that? Not a chance in hell. Wiped out. Fuck. We're still at 63% though. Let's take these guys and let's run for our damn lives. So second they're on... Oh no. Well. 62%. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I expected a lot more than that. 62% for... But that was 5%. Wow. I kind of feel bad for them. 5% for wiping out a massive chunk of our armies like that. We've only got 24,000 men. So this might not be too unattainable. Um, the Queen of Canalus have joined them. God knows what she's got. She's also married to a Dramora. Um, she's got... Who else have they got here? The High Kin Lord of Breville still kicking around. I'm actually really surprised that... Oh, the, the, the Vigilance of Stendar. I'm actually really surprised Hyrot didn't get involved. Which is only good news for us, because apparently we're, we're struggling with dealing with their armies. We need these forces coming in roughly around the same time. Ideally, what we want is to bait them to attack these guys. Oh, that's a fort there. Okay, my bad. Um, we want to bait them to attack into that. Propose a white piece. Absolutely. Thank you. I, I, really, I really do like these guys offering us white piece, seemingly randomly. Okay, that's not ideally what I wanted. I wasn't expecting them to get from the Imperial out to Nickel in apparently two seconds flat. That's fine, though. Oh, they, they are boomer locked into that. So they're going to attack that and we can reinforce in. Oh, it's going to be close. Yep. Okay. That's basically what I wanted. A little bit, a little bit touch and go there for a second. Gain patient or gain wrath. We want, I mean, we can't get warlord. So I think arguably patient is better. And we have been very patient. So I think, I think that's on brand with their character as well. And you are fucking dead. There we go. That should stop them. That should, that's, that's dealt a pretty hefty blow to Skyrim there. We've apparently also got an organizer. They're retreating into us there. 78%. Let's deal with the last of their troops. Actually, let's knock this down before we leave. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll chase them down, finish off the last of their troops, and then we'll head back to the Imperial Isle. And did they actually counter-siege that? They did take back the Imperial Isle. I'm very surprised they did, especially given that we've still got 81%. You'd assume that taking back the White Gold Tower would have done more for their war score. We could assault that down. We could assault that down. Uh, what's our reinforcement looking like? 556 soldiers per month. Go on, then. We got Warfork. Just what I wanted. There it is. All we had to do was just knock down the other few districts, and we are done. Another tower. And what has that done for us? 15% threat for one province. Oh, it's too much. I would like to kind of make white gold our capital, I think. I think that'd be quite fun. And we haven't moved capital. Oh, we have technically moved car capital as his character. We moved it from shitty island over here back to the Ascadian Isle. I think having white gold as our capital would make a lot more sense as well. Bear in mind, we've already deactivated the tower in, in Vardenfell. And I think that this being right on the frontier is somewhere we need to be able to defend a lot more actively. So being able to hire the troops just directly in white gold is a lot more beneficial. Paul's great work construction. Uh, whoa, what? Hang on. Uh, one of these must be true. Uh, one of those true capital provinces white gold. Ah, okay. Or provinces white gold and we have domain only. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they've actually adjusted by the looks of it some of the game rules associated with Wonders, because Wonders are pretty shit the way they're implemented in the base game, so I, I kind of appreciate that. So, say for example, your, your vassal builds a Wonder, or your vassal owns a Wonder and then they're conquested, you no longer, or you build a Wonder and you're conquested, you no longer have control of your own Wonder, it goes to the top level lead, which is just complete garbage, doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. So I think they've added something that looks as if it might get around that. Um, okay. So if we make it our capital, we can do that. But unfortunately, yeah, like I said, we have moved our capital over from that island to Vivek before. So now, unfortunately, we can't do... What is that? 224 months. That's a hell of a long time. That's, that's many years. Many, many years. Well, we can keep the Temple District, Fort Legion, the Northern District and Western District because we have 8 out of 8 on domain size. So we can just we can just keep all that stuff. And seeing as we are the emperor, after all, bearing in mind we have the ruby throne, we can now have a white gold coronation. The white gold tower is full of lords, knights, and foreign emissaries representing the most distinct nations of Tamriel. The throne room is vibrantly decorated as you smile. You notice your crown rests upon the throne. May my reign be prosperous. We get 150 prestige and 50 favor. Is that it? Is that just we did get like a crowned anything? No, we just got crowned. Um. Okay, fair enough. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that at all. I'll admit, I was kind of expecting to get the base game crowned, or to be honest, anything for that, but that's okay. This character is the founder of a great tower. Thank you. Founder in a great tower is exactly what we're trying not to do this campaign. So 37 out of 60 magic. Let's stop leading troops for a while then. Uh, let's see if we can blast you with a magic spell to cure your, your brown rot. Open spell book. Uh, what are we looking for? It's like I think it's 40 magic actually now that I think about it. Brown rot. 25 magic. You're fine. 
Be cured, brother. Now, what else can I give you here? Cure... Is that like, um... Soothing Melody, I think. Yeah, dissolve Stress or Depression. 20 Magicka. So we'll hit him with one of those as well. Then we'll hit him with a couple of Fertility Bonuses. We might even move back to... What do you think? Seduction for a while? Maybe Family Focus? Family Focus does give us the bonus Health and Diplomacy, which come in far more handy. Uh, when can we change that? Oh, like next month. That upsets me more than it should. <laughs> the crown not being exactly over the tower. Ah, oh, shit. I almost, I almost want to go and nudge the model over a little bit, but I feel like it's a lot of effort just to make the fucking crown line up, huh? Ah, 700 gold. Thank you, my friend. So we just went on that 20... Oh, I should probably drop the higher troops. This is me waiting on the bloody magic up with these troops doing absolute fuck all. Um, what have we got right now? 12 out of 60. So it's two points per magic up per point of personal learning. I don't know the formula that the Elder Kings uses to give monthly magicka. I wanted to keep an eye on it, see how much we gained. Actually, when does your magicka refresh? Okay. Uh, they do not command the Empress. Thank you. Weird. Uh, constantly got 12. But is it yearly? Do, do, your magicka updates at the start of each year? Okay. Oh, shit. So, obviously, we've got to start working on becoming the Herald again, huh? We've got a lot of prisoners to throw at them from Skyrim here. That's really going to make Skyrim love us as well. We'll be interested to see his opinion of us when we end up sacrificing his wife to Boethia. Ooh, Iverstead. Okay. I'm, I'm, I hope it's just Iverstead you need. Because, look, it, it looks as if Rothgar doesn't actually have any borders with anywhere else. So, I think just taking Iverstead might give us access to that tower. Then we control Imperial Isle. We control Adamantia. I uh, should say white gold. Obviously, Adamant's here. We, we control the throw of the world. Then we need... Is it is it this one? Elden Root? See, that Elden Root or Falonesti. I don't remember which one. I think it must be Falonesti in that case. Yeah, Green Sap. So that just fabricated claim there will do it. And then all we need is Crystal Light Law. And we bring the whole thing down. Holy shit. So we're basically, what, three-fifths of the way there? What the fuck? Twelve Moral Authority. What are you talking about? We need to get these holy sites. This is unbelievable. Get the holy sites, get them all converted. Even then, that wouldn't be a minus... Uh, I mean, I was thinking that would give us a 50% baseline, but of course it won't, because rulers are led astray. It's apparently minus 20 fucking four. Uh, <laughs> Eight divines is unstoppable. I hate to say it. They've started counter-converting us here. I mean, not having a magister for as long as we had was obviously a, a big concern there. That obviously put us back quite significantly. What's the, what's the chance to proselytize? 3.2% chance yearly. I've got him in white gold right now, trying to grab that one. Now we've got 20 magicka. Wow, that takes a long time to replenish, doesn't it? Jesus. Okay. Um, okay, join the fucking Mages Guild. Right, open the spell book, and let's hit him with a cheer up spell. Uh, soothing Melody. There you are, my friend. Be gone, cursed black hound of depression. Good God. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. That's not, that's not an overreaction at all. So we've only got 0 out of 54 magic there. It's going to take a hell of a long time before we get enough to, uh, to cure our stress. Or should I say, verily and soothe the stress that hath me gripped within its iron vice. Or whatever I'm sure it says. <laughs> whatever I'm sure it says when you make your character slightly less stressed. Um, we've also got lunatic too. I wonder if we can cure that and get rid of... I mean, that is arguably only negatives here. It's quite fun in the base game, but in this, it is it is actually devastating. I didn't know quite how ridiculous that was. General opinion, personal combat, health, fertility, learning, all the all the major stats are gone as well. Fucking hell. Um, maybe that'll be the next thing we do. Let's see if we can find like a cure lunacy. I really should have done that first, rather than let loose the black hound of depression. Ah, Duchy of Altguard. No, 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 we don't want the Duchy of Altguard. I completely forgot to move that guy. Uh, let's dump you over in the deepest, darkest Valenwood, and let's take Palinesti. If we could just get claims on everything today, that means we can just be, again, surgical in, in hopefully taking back... Where are my troops? Oh, I thought I left them over there. My bad. Um, when we want to take these tomorrow, we might just be able to go boom, 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 all other three towers, and then speak to Boethia nicely about just giving them to her. Like, hey, look, I know you want another 40 or 50 sacks of berries from me, but I could just give you the towers, chief. What I want is a ring that can help with our... Because because the rings that we've got now are basically unusable. We've got the necromancy ring that obviously isn't doing anything. We don't have the ring of ages anymore because we converted it into that. We've only got the black band, which is given intrigue. Now, there are warlock rings. I assume you can't have two, and I assume you can't have both equipped simultaneously anyway. Um, But these things give plus three to learning. So I would like to grab one of those if possible. Um, plus for five personal combat as well, plus one martial. They're very, very good, and it, it, it's an empty spot that we just don't have. Let's go within Diplo range, and let's go... I mean, first of all, see if anyone wants to join our court that has one. No, I should really just be inviting people who have artifacts to our court 
anyway. And then if they were to, you know, die horribly, we can take their artifacts and throw it to Boethia. What have you got? There's got to be some other good rings. I might go and look through the rings file and see what there is. Because there's obviously, like, Ring of Aegis as well, which is quite nice. But there's some really unique ones. I just don't know what they are. Hire the Kamonatong to steal us that magic ring. And there we are. Boom. Got it straight away. I mean, it wasn't exactly the Amulet of Kings or the Ogma Infinium, was it? Right, so... Warlock's ring. Two out of two. What have we got equipped, then? Oh, we just got a silver ring. Ugh. Useless. Get rid of that. Um, and let's go ahead... Actually, to be honest, it might be better for us than the Black Band. Intrigue plus three in plot power. We're not using either of those, particularly. Um, general opinion sex appeal. Man, is the ebony ring just a straight-up upgrade from both of those, then? Uh, ebony ring. I assume that's not a Daedric ring. Um, what have you got? Sex appeal plus four. General opinion plus four. That's actually quite impressive. So with two ebony rings, you get a general opinion plus eight. And a sex appeal plus eight as well. So with male characters, you get plus 16 just for having a couple of rings. That's madness. Let's do it. Fuck it. Uh, give me that. Come on, a song. Another 700 and... Oh, 150 gold this time. They failed, but we'll keep giving it a go. I'm sure this one they'll be able to pull off pretty easily. This is an ebony ring after all. It's only 150 gold as well, so it's not like we're... Not like we're going to break the bank doing this. There we go. Very nice. It did cost us a lot more than I wanted to pay for it, but that's all right. We've got it now. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that. We'll throw that to Bowie with you. Let's get that ebony ring equipped as well. It's plus eight opinion with all men. Well, most men anyway. That's quite a nice little extra bonus there. Particularly when I've got, you know, like the books, for example, giving plus five vassal opinion a piece. Trying to keep the round together as passively as possible rather than constantly dishing out gifts. And you know what? It's doing an all right job. Besides a couple of people that just hate us for... They go conflicting traits, essentially, and, and acted against culture. Um, you want the Kingdom of Res Resdain, which is obviously not going to happen. Want to see it on the Council, Kingdom of Resdain. I could just destroy these kingdoms. We could dish them out. I mean, that's quite a powerful kingdom, though, isn't it? Apparently one called the Ring of Arcana, which gives a crazy amount of learning. Ring, Ring of Arcana. Actually, some people have it. Wow, I'm surprised. Um, or not. Uh, Ring of Arcana. Excuse me? Silver ring, buckler. She definitely does not. <laughs> oh, I am spelling that right as well, am I? Hang on, let me just double check here. Um, ring of Ar Arcana. Yeah, I am spelling that right. Okay, I guess no one's actually got that. I also don't know how you... you. I've never seen it before. It's plus five learning, and you have to be a spellcaster to have it equipped. Um, but besides that, it's not massively impressive. To be honest, the ebony ring might be more beneficial at this point. Oh, shit. There we go. Day after day spent trading. Night after night, we are now an expert. No, no, no. We're a master sorcerer. So what do we want to go for next, then? Battle mage might not be too bad. Learning focus with a small bonus to martial. Bard, crusader, healer, nightblade, priest. Savant or spell sword. Martial focus with a smaller bonus to learning. Or witch hunter. I think I'm going to go battle mage. I like the idea of a battle mage sorcerer. That seems like quite a good combo. And my friends, is another tower. 3,000! <laughs> the tree themedom of Balanesti. What the fuck are you giving me? Are you giving me the kingdom? Was that 3,000 for a duchy? What the fuck was that? Claims, claims, claims. Tree themedom of Balanesti was, in fact, a duchy. You're a madman. This guy is very good, though. I hired a new... I don't know if I, I'll leave this in, but I hired a new uh, Chancellor with 83% chance yearly. I also had to give him a bloody artifact to keep him happy to increase his chance of fabrication there, so I don't know what I gave him. Um, yeah, crappy spare book there. The Alandroi. It was a quality four book, so we better fucking enjoy it. We'll shift him over now to the final of the towers over in Kingshaven, Crystal Light Law. Then we are in position to take the lot. We've got a claim on... High Rothgar, or Iverstead specifically. We've got a claim on Fallen Esty. We've got a claim on Crystal Light Law coming in. We've already got Adamantia. Tomorrow might be the end of the world. Oh my god, he's already got it. Barony of Kingshaven. There we are. Do it. We're 3,000 gold in the shitter. Please come home and improve relations, for God's sake, because my vassals are going to be so pissed off at this point. How, how long till we can bring him home? Oh my god, we've got a while yet. Um, you're collecting taxes. We've got a better steward. Nope. And, oh, come on. And with that, the debt is now paid off. So we're back to, back to square one. No, 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 no. We've, we've already got, hang on, let me just double check here. I'm, I'm losing my mind. We've, we've already got the claim on King Seven. Yeah, we don't need you anymore. Bring him home. Okay. We've got gold. We've got, well, we haven't, we haven't got gold, but we haven't got negative gold. We've got claims on Iverstead. We've got claims on Valenwood. We've got claims on, on Alanor. And we already have that. Let me just double check here the towers. So we've got Adamantia, White Gold, Green Sap, Snowthroat, and Crystal Light Law, and Red Mountain is dead as dicks. Okay. 
So really, that's it, right? So K King's King's Haven. I'm just sorry. I'm being double triple checking here. So this dispel the Taker is Skyborn, which is Iverstead. No, you are, you have Iverstead though. Yes, you have Iverstead. Uh, you have Valenwood and you have Adamantia. Okay, we're in position to take all the towers tomorrow. We're taking all the freaking towers. We're gonna we're gonna grab them all. Hopefully during that time we'll pick up enough prisoners and enough artifacts to feed Boethia. We'll become hopefully the Herald tomorrow as well. And maybe, just maybe, we can turn them all over. And who'd have thought that Lil Flex herself would be the one to bring about the end of the world? But we are very, very close to pulling it off. Thank you all for watching. Bit of a bit of a messy one today. Bit of a late episode for me as well. This is the latest I've recorded an episode for a hell of a long time. So apologies if this one goes up a little bit late. But I think we'll be good. A thank you, of course, has to go out to the patrons. For that which I wouldn't be able to record too much, too much content on a daily basis. A big thank you goes out to Cyric. 313, Justin Wallace, Limpy George, Dante Mordecane, Royal Two Human Games, Blue the Bard, Pelvis Presley, Ciala, Atmosis, Aromatic Fool, Alex, Harik, Scott, Slippin' Ips, Ninja Tree V, Tyler Kendall, Siphon, Scary Scurvy, and everyone else at the Insane Tale of Us on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you has to go out to these guys. And a thank you goes out to Demon Boy, Yoram Breeze, Astro, Sir Thor the Swede, Erotha, Talar, Shittle Dirt, Outer Mostly, Will, Wade, Hoopalia, Peanut Gorilla, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Night Rouge, I'm Sagatair, Donald, Luan and Thomas, Cass, Shlomo, Void Prince Kibo, Mason Fireblast, and the other patrons as well for, of course, making another day's worth of content.